Hey everyone, welcome to another After Effects tutorial, today we are creating, shining metallic logo animation. Like this. So let's start it. First create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, 30 frame per second, change comp name as main comp. Then create another comp change name as logo. Now drag your logo into logo comp. Resize it if required. You can use any logo, but make sure it should be PNG format. Then create another new comp name logo reflection now we need one more comp change name reflection now create a new solid layer rename as fractal noise then search fractal noise effect and apply on it then go to effect control panel change contrast around 130 Brightness around minus 3. Complexity around 3. Then go to transform and scale around 250. Now we want to animate this evolution, so hold Alt and click stopwatch icon and add this expression, time into 30. Now add fast blur effect. Change blurriness around 50. And check these repeat edge pixels. Then add one more effect called HDR Compander. This effect gives little bit darker to our footage, change gain around 1.5. Now create a new solid layer, called cell pattern. Then search cell pattern effect and apply on it. Change cell pattern bubble to crystals. And invert it. Increase contrast around 250. Change disperse around 1.15. And size around 230. Now add same expression on evolution, time into 20. Then select both layer, and go to first frame. Hit S for scale and add a keyframe. And change amount around 160%. Then go to 1 second forward and change amount around 120%. Select cell pattern layer and apply a loom key effect. Change threshold around 170. Now add fast blur effect. Change blurriness around 50, and check these repeat edge pixels. Now select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Then go to around few frames forward select both layers and search offset and add a keyframe. Then go to around 1 second forward select offset and change offset like this. Select both keyframe and easy ease them.
perfect. Now, go to logo reflection comp, and drag reflection comp into timeline. And also drag logo comp. Then go to toggle switches mode and change track mat non to alpha mat. Then select logo comp player and duplicate them. And change name as map. Now select reflection layer and search CC blob lies. Blob layer map. And property alpha. Softness around 4. Then go to light. And light height around 75. Now search curves. And change curves according to your requirement. Now search CC light sweep. Change width around 60. Now animate this light sweep. Add first keyframe, when our reflection layer animation has stopped. Then go to few frame forward and change center point like this. Perfect. Now go to main composition. And drag logo reflection into timeline. Then create a new solid background layer. And search gradient ramp effect and apply on it. Change ramp shape, radial ramp. End color black. Start color dark blue. Like this. Move BG layer below the logo reflection layer. Now drag BG image PNG into timeline. Resize according to your comp. And change mode normal to screen. Then search curves effects and apply on BG image layer. And adjust a little bit. Now drag cube footage into timeline. Then move logo reflection layer. When our cube footage animation has started. And change cube mode normal to screen. Now drag optical flare footage into timeline. And move where logo reflection comp started. Also change mode normal to screen. Select optical flare and press T for opacity, go to the first frame of opacity and add a keyframe, and change opacity 0%, then go to few frames forward and change opacity 50%. Now add particle footage into timeline. And change mode normal to screen. And also move particle footage, where our logo reflection started. Our optical flares footage not enough for our animation. So we need to enable time remap, select optical flare comp player and right click then go to time, and select enable time remapping. Then drag optical flare end point, according to your timeline, and also move last keyframe, Then go to toggle switches mode and convert BG image layer and logo reflection layer, into the 3D layer. Now create a new camera, 
I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create an all layer. Parent camera with null layer. Also convert null layer into 3D layer. Now press P for position, and go to the first frame of logo reflection layer and add a keyframe. And change Z position around 2000. Then go to 1 second forward and change Z position 2000 to 0. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now add lens flare footage into timeline, below the logo reflection layer. And change mode normal to screen. And move the flare, edge of the text. Then adjust lens flare footage, when logo reflection started. Perfect, it's look good for me. Now go to toggle switches mode, and turn on motion blur of logo reflection comp. You can adjust your key anytime, if your animation not going well. I am move these keyframes, when our cube animation has started. Also move cube footage above the logo reflection layer. Now select cube layer and press T for opacity. Go to the last frame of cube layer and add a keyframe, and change opacity 0%, then go to a few frames back and change opacity 100%. Now drag this circle footage into the timer line, below the logo reflection layer. And change mode normal to screen. You can download all footage link in description. Resize footage according to comp. Perfect. Also turn on comp motion blur. Our animation has complete. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.